Hello and welcome to another Webnestify channel video. In this video, I'm going to answer your questions if you should use uh, Contable servers in your production live environments. Many of you probably know Contable. It is a German uh, server provider and it is a really well known for their cheap uh, prices. As you can see, the virtual private servers starting at uh, $5.99 a month. So let's go check all their Cloud VPS options. You have uh, four options and uh, the first one starting at uh, $5.99 a month and you will get uh, four virtual CPU cores, 8 GB of RAM, 50 GB NVMe SSD or 200 GB of uh, traditional SSD. You will get one snapshot and uh, 32 terabytes of traffic. And for the highest, uh, pri uh, highest plan, you will get 10 virtual CPU cores, 60 gigs of RAM, and uh, for snapshot and uh, 4 gigabyte NVMe SSD for uh, 31.50 euros a month. So what is the catch with their uh, cheap pricing? So if you decided to purchase, you will be presented by the configure your VPS screen and uh, first you will need to select region if you want to have your server outside of uh, Germany you will have to pay extra for every single region for example US East is uh, 1.8 dollars a month extra but for the U United States Central only 1.20 euros a month and for Asia, Singapore, you will pay 2.90 euros a month extra. Also, if you want a different storage, uh, you, you will have to pay for more storage. But that's completely normal. Next up, the private networking. If you want to have your private networking, you will have to pay extra. That is 2.29 euros a month. Other service providers have this for free as an option. Another thing that you will have to pay is for uh, basic server monitoring. If you want to have your server monitored, you want to see your statistics in your uh, dashboard, you will have to pay 11.50 euros a month. So for this monthly cost is already 17.48 euros and also with every VPS you will have to pay one time setup fee only if you purchase vps for 12 months then the setup fee is no longer you don't have to pay for it so now let's go check uh, the control panel dashboard so this is your main server dashboard and uh, you can manage your server only via this drop down button when you can upgrade your VPS, move it to another region, you can order add-ons like uh, SSR certificates, upgrade your storage, etc. And uh, you can reinstall and basically that's pretty it. I don't really like this control panel because it is outdated and uh, it's a little bit clunky, it's not like very well designed, it is uh, confusing to me when I first use Contable servers. So if you go to server control, oh sorry, VPS control, because I don't have dedicated servers. You will have only access to the basic things like uh, status, you can restart your server, stop and start it up. You can enable cloning in scripts, you can reinstall your image or uh, rescue your system. If you are asking uh, where are the backups, well, with Contable you don't have access to backups because they don't offer any backup solutions. Only what you get is a, a snapshot feature. And with snapshot feature you can store only one snapshot at a time and uh, it will last only for 30 days. So. In order to create a snapshot of the service, uh, server, you will have to shut it down and create snapshot. And every month you will have to repeat the same step. 
this is the really big deal for uh, production servers because you always want to have your backups set it up daily with at least a seven day retention period with Contebo you don't have to get that and you will have to set up your own backup solution in the terminal another thing that the Contebo servers are uh, are missing is a hardware level firewall as you can see you don't get access or there isn't any hardware level firewall that you can set up and protect your server. You will have to configure firewall manually in the terminal. And uh, basically you can control the reverse DNS management. And also you can add domains to the Contabo name servers, but I don't recommend doing that. And the reason why I don't recommend using uh, Contable of DNS management is because of their IP quality and their reputation. As you can see, if Contable is uh, using, oh, where is it? I need to find it. Okay, Contable is using around uh, 300,000 IP addresses around the world, and their fraud score is really high. It is uh, 68, and the main reason why their score is so high because they are not taking care of their IP addresses. They don't care who they sell VPS servers. And basically anyone can create a Contable account, a purchase service, uh, server and use it for, uh, for malicious activities. You can use it for uh, spamming users. You can uh, use it for uh, probing uh, for v vulnerabilities. You can set up bots, etc. All they care, into my eyes, is uh, is to make money with the cheap VPS and uh, se uh, selling, like uh, monitoring services, SSL certificate for 75 euros a year when you can get a free Let's Encrypt certificate, and uh, yeah, the the IP IP quality is pretty bad. It is not usable for production because you cannot use. Uh, you can use email servers, you can set up your emails, but most likely the IP that will be sending emails will be already in the blacklist. There is a really high chance. So now let's go check the performance for the six euro a month server. As you can see, we have eight gigabytes of RAM. We have four AMD Epic CPU cores at 2.8 gigahertz. And for the Geekbench, we have a single core performance 741 and multi core performance of 2206. This is completely fine. This performance is normal, but with other service provider, you can get a lot of faster CPU core. Let's go check the disk speeds. And the disk speeds are pretty, pretty low. As you can see in a 4K blocks, you get only 5.3 megabytes per second in a read and 5.3 megabytes write. And that's pretty, pretty low. Other blocks, they're a pretty bit faster, but still average disk speed is around uh, 160 megabytes per second in the nowadays standard. That's pretty unacceptable for a web server that is serving real website visitors and customers last thing from the performance tab we can check the network speed and uh, as i mentioned at the start of the video you will get 32 terabytes traffic but you will be limited only to 200 megabytes per second and uh, this can cause issues with the time to first byte and other things because uh, it, it will it will throttle visitors when you reach the network limit so the website will load really really slow so do i recommend contable servers for production environment no i i don't recommend it because of the reason i mentioned in this video but if you want if you want to learn uh, linux or if you want to play with a docker in your playground 
I definitely re recommend Condable servers because they are cheap and they will, they will provide you with a stable server that you can use to learn many many stuff and play with other things. So I hope this, uh, this answer your questions and question about Condebo and uh, if you are using Condebo in a production environment please let me know down in comments below and yeah stay tuned for uh, tomorrow's video when I will start a new series about uh, a quick cloud CDN and how you can use it in your WordPress website journeys.